Welcome back. Um, another journal share. This is a slightly different size again. I've been enjoying um, doing something a little bit different. So this one is five and a half by eight. Um, it's fabric covered cardstock. Um, I haven't actually glued the fabric down, but I have done quite a bit of stitching. So um, you will see. I've used this pretty soft green fabric with um, ready maroony red flowers on. This is an image from Mrs. Cog. Uh, I've used this um, cotton, sort of cotton sari to tie it. Um, see where I've sewn it, it's kind of slightly ruffled it up, but it does look, I think, pretty nice as it is. Um, this doily is all stitched down over it. Um, I think this is stitched and glued on if I remember rightly and I have zigzagged around the edges. Uh, there should be around 68 sides in this one. Um, it's quite chunky, quite eclectic, um, quite pretty on the side here. I've used, um, picked up these colours in the ribbons that I've used. Okay so we have a pocket on the inside with a sticker um can't remember what I made it out of. That's the letter that I usually include. And a little journal card with a vintage photograph on it. This is from um, Muriel Foster Fishing uh, Diary, this page. I liked the dog and I found this tiny photograph, um, vintage photograph, a gentleman with his very similar looking dog. <laughs> So that's just pinned on there um, underneath this ruffle. And then I've got a pocket made from a bit of vintage document, the fussy cut here. Um, this is a journal card made from a uh, printable. It might be a Luna Rosu printable, I can't remember. A ticket and a Latin flash card there. This is a bit of original rusting. Piano roll paper that side. This is a pocket tag I've put together. That's using all printables. Uh, this is, is this an Amity Bloom paper I think? There's a little dangle on there and some lace. Stenciling. This is a pocket um, vintage document from 1919. <laughs> Again, it's a bit of original rusting on there. And I've got Mrs. Talbot on here. So I think one of these ladies is Mrs. Talbot. And I think I will call this journal Mrs. Talbot. <laughs> Put a little dog on the um, tab there. This is a birthday card. Just made a card, a journal card to go in there. Just slide in with a bit of care. Okay, so you can just see her through there. Um, this is a vintage letter. Again, lots of natural rusting. It's quite delicate, obviously, around this area. This may start to flake off. And in here, I've got um, magazine page, vintage magazine page, and a journal card that I've put together. Again, using printables and fussy cutting. It's from a children's book. We have a belly band um, that I've made from with an image from that book. This is a vintage book page and a tag that I've put together. Again, that's printables, not um, original. This is original collar, lace collar. And in here, there is a 1980, 1918 document. one of those little Victorian um, Christmas cards in there. I haven't left the whole thing as a pocket, just this bottom bit. 
in here. There is, um, this is from a uh, French magazine, vintage French magazine from 1955. This is a telegram from the 1950s. And I put a little owl playing card in there. In this envelope, I have a document from 1919. Centre, I've just popped a bow, um, it is knotted as well, so you can either cut that off, add something to it, whatever you would like to do. Um, this is the fabric that I've used on the cover to make a pocket. And again, I've got a vintage book page and a um, journal card. I think again, that's, um, I can't remember, is that Mrs. Cog? Maybe not. Sorry, I should write down, I suppose. This is some piano roll paper. In here, there's a document or part of a document from 1880. I nearly kept this because June the 19th is my birthday. <laughs> um, but really great writing on there. So that's that one and a sorry, it's just put it that way. A wine label and a library card. A flower fairy tag this is an envelope that I've turned into a pocket a large pocket and there's a 1932 document behind there and um, this is Talbot again or maybe some neighbours <laughs> the envelope I can't this also is a pocket, but I haven't put anything in there. Little elephant on that one. This is the other side of that um, birthday card. And I've just popped a vintage postcard in there. Just so you can see that little um, statue image through it. from chapter one papers. In this pocket there's a um, vintage computer card, there's a vintage envelope, quite a thick one. Uh, that's from early 1900s, I can't remember exactly when that's from. Another fussy cut here and an envelope with an original um, cabinet card in it. And then the last page I've just left and you can see inside the back cover. So there's extra reinforcement here as well with um, canvas. So that's Mrs. Tolbert. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon.